Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, Coach Marcus here, Phoenix AZ. Um, he just ch uh, checking in. Happy uh, Wednesday, uh, September the 18th, 2019. This is uh, what we call Hump Day. This is Wednesday. And so I um, just want to welcome all of our new team members. Uh, just uh, taking a break from doing some work right now uh, before I resume uh, my uh, job duties. But I wanted to um, chat with the team really quickly. Just want to uh, share something that uh, several several of us have have been doing uh, o over the years, and uh, and we've been doing testing it again this week. And just wanted to share some tips, uh, some ways with you guys to increase engagement on your um, Facebook posts. Um, it's once you you see this, it's really simple. All right, really really simple. Um, now, the one thing you want to do is uh, make sure you don't want to turn your Facebook timeline into a a, uh, H, a Heart by Naturals uh, business opportunity or product advertising page. So you don't want to have every single uh, people send me messages. Let me see people. Uh, you don't want to have every single one of your posts. OK, be about the business or the products. OK, maybe a couple times a day. All right. Once in the morning, once at night. OK. Um, all the other ones, yo, um, it's great to do. The things you can do um, to increase engagement, because you no know, Facebook has has uh, this al algorithms, and uh, and which causes your timeline and your posts to show up in people's news feeds. All right, so the one thing you want to do is make sure you have your uh, news feeds uh, set to um, most recent, so that you don't because it defaults to. Uh, top stories and uh you want to set your uh facebook timeline to most recent and so uh let me show you real fast on on my on my i'm on my um computer let me flip my screen around and then right here see this right here news feeds it defaults to top stories so it's going to it's going to show you the posts that have the most uh engagement Okay, on your on your timeline or maybe other people's timeline, like this right here, I posted this picture yesterday. This is a an NFL player, and he looks looks like he's wearing a dress, but when you look closely, it's shorts and a shirt, and he has a bag and nice red shoes, right? And so some people think that's uh, not appropriate for the guy to wear that, and so there's been a lot of engagement. Look, there's 59 comments on this post, 43 reactions. All right, so what you want to do. But right here, you want to your news feed right here. You want this to select these little three buttons and change it to most recent. So then you see the most recent posts from your uh, Facebook friends and people you follow. All right. So do that. But uh, um, so that's that first. So that's that. And then I changed mine to most recent. And now it's going to show me uh, who just posted and in the time and in the order it was posted, not just top posts with all the comments. Okay. Um, so that's, uh, one thing you want to do and I'll do, I'll go live on my Facebook timeline. And, um, this is my friend William. So I grew up with him. He started a new job today. All right, cool. Awesome. I gotta say congratulations. Hold up. Let me see. Let me say it. Let me t let me tell my guy congrats. That's another 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 way to uh, um, congratulations. That's another way to increase engagement. Comment on your friend's posts. All right, congratulations. Proud of you. All right, we go back way back to fourth grade, and so he's been promoted to a leadership position. Um, but um, so that's the one thing. When make sure you're. Your timeline is set to uh, your news feed is set to recent posts, um, and then when people comment on your posts, all right, make sure you don't just like their comments, all right. Make sure you comment back, all right. Like, look, this this post I posted yesterday. Let me flip my camera. This post had a lot of reactions, and uh, I went. I don't think I caught everybody um, on this one, so I need to go back and, and comment on on these ones right here people's comment I, I wrote i posted that and so i did respond to a lot of pe people and so i may not i posted this one just to get some reactions uh this one i posted yesterday this gets a lot of engagement this already has 38 comments and people commenting um but last night 
where's my coffee or tea? There's a post I wrote last night. Uh, I, was, I think I did it yeah, 13 hours ago. This right here. Keep it simple. You can post things like, like this, these or questions. Ask people, you know, black or white, coffee or tea, hot or cold, okay? And whatever it is, you know, uh, ties or, or, uh, or no ties or blouses or, you know, or uh, mini skirts versus dresses, whatever. You can post questions like this. And look how many people commented, guys. 99 comments, right? People liked All these people liked it. And uh, make sure down in your comments right here, when people comment, there's 45 more comments. When people comment, right, make sure you have a response back. Even if it's somebody from uh, Heart and Body Naturals, comment back. And so this person says they like both. So I wrote, me too, coffee in the morning, tea after my meals. And then she gave me a thumbs up, so I'm going to like her thumbs up. And then uh, Theisha Rogers, she commented, and I wrote my same comment. I changed some of them. Somebody likes Vitality. So, And all, I always like their comments or I laugh. All right, Some people have funny stuff. Let me see. Somebody wrote martinis, right? So let me see. And... Um, trying to find the person that wrote martinis. Hers was hilarious. That caught me off guard because I was just copy and pasting my responses on most of the, most of my responses. Um, let me see, where's the martini lady? So this is a great way, guys, to increase engagement on your timeline. Um, where's she at? She put a coffee, coffee cup, right? Um, people put pictures. So this is a great way to engage your audience, all right? Let me, where's the lady who, here she goes, martini. And then she wrote, LOL, she wrote T, and I, and I responded back. That caught me off guard. That was a good one, LOL, someone like that. So people have been responding to this since I posted this last night, so I have two more people to respond to, so I'm going to say, um, yes. I'm going to say, uh, yes. Um, T is great, right? So this is real time, guys. I'm doing, I'm doing this in real time, trying to, trying to type, <laughs> and, and hold, type in one, one hand, and hold my phone in the other hand. So I want to copy that, and then I want to hit enter. So I got Anthony, and then I want to like Phyllis, right? And then I want to reply, and then just paste uh, what I what I said to Anthony, and hit enter, and I commented, right? But then someone just commented back on this one, right? My guy uh, Alphonse Teams. A lot of comments on this one. This was a popular post yesterday. All right, and um, let me see. And then, so he says, almost looks like a dress. And then I wrote back, um, I initially thought it was a dress. He said, I was like, what is wrong with these athletes today? And I'm say, and I'm gonna say, yes. And I'm just gonna laugh, ha ha. And I could respond back, but I don't. I need two hands to type. So, so that's a simple way to. Um, engage your your uh your audience so it so your your future posts will show up in other people's timelines okay um so that's a great way to um you know get more people you know to, to see what you post all right so you're not always posting about your business all right you're not always posting about vitality all right <laughs> okay so um so that that's that another thing you can do is um uh, post recipes. Okay. We have a recipes group you can join and, uh, you can go there and copy recipes and post them on, on your, uh, timeline and, uh, tell people to share the recipes. All right. You know, so, so they can make them later. Uh, I think Bonnie, uh, Waters posted a recipe yesterday. I'm trying to find a recipe group. Um, I think it's, uh, gosh, where's it at? Not this one. I'll, I'll, I'll have to find it, but we have a group with recipes where you can post, um, you can get recipes to uh, share. I think it's here. Yeah, here it is. Team, it's called Team Elite Partners Recipes and More Group. So right now we don't have a lot of people in the group. So if you guys are good cooks and you're into uh, making like healthy foods or even like food comfort foods, post them in the group. All right, they don't. All the foods don't have to be, don't have to be like healthy. All right, you know, if as long as they're good. Um, but this is the name of the group. This is the Team Elite uh, Partners Recipes and More group. This is the name. Make sure you join this group and you can go in this group and you can post recipes for us to use and you can find recipes, right? And all you do, right, like this one, you want to post this, all you do is, is highlight 
like copy the whole thing. Just copy it, you know, co copy all that, highlight that, and copy and paste it. Save the picture. Um, someone wrote a five minute essential oil buck spray recipe, so you can use one of our essential oils, right, to create a bug spray. This is an awesome thing to post, okay? So there's things in there that will get engagement on, on your timeline. Somebody posted a, a skinny pumpkin mousse recipe, right? That was Bonnie Waters. So just want to just teach you guys something that's easy to duplicate so that you don't have to try to, um, so you don't have to try to recreate the wheel and figure out what you need to post, all right? So you can copy anything you see as posting but um but posting like polls um like uh like uh like when do you do you ex when do you exercise in the morning or in the a.m or p.m all right you can just keep it simple okay when um what is your favorite color black or white or whatever or, or you can post a puzzle you can post one of those things that says well your your name is the, the name of, of your shirt and the last, the name of the color of your shirt and, and the last food you ate. So mine would be blue, my name would be blue um, green smoothie. <laughs> all right, that'd be my gangster name or my rap name or whatever. All right, so just wanted to share ways for you guys to, um, this is a great way to, to increase engagement. And then you throw in, you know, a couple of times a day, some information about the products or the business on your timeline. So. Just want, wanted to do this quick training. Uh, anybody have, you don't want to have any questions right now while I'm live that I, I can respond to? Yeah, tea, uh, tea after meals. Somebody just respond to, to my, my tea post. It's great. So anyone have any questions right now while I'm live right now? You don't have to. You can copy anything we post. I think Kimberly Wilkins, let's see what she posted something that was interesting. I just saw it. Um, when I was uh, when I, I logged onto my computer, here she she wrote, "How old were you when you found out that newspaper newspaper means North, East, West, South, Past, and and Present event report?" I never knew that. So this is what look. She posted this 39 minutes ago. Kimberly posted that. All right, you can copy and post this. You know, because you we all have different friends, right? Different followers, and look how many likes she has right 35 likes and how many comments 39 comments 35 25 shares so this is how you increase engagement and look how many followers Kimberly has right this is how you increase engagement and know that she doesn't have um, her website links here either okay so but look this is a great post to do so I'm going to copy this one and post it after I do my live I'm going to go live video do my live video and uh, show people how to set their Facebook uh, settings right here so that um, it can see how it default see how it defaulted to stop to top stories so if you want to see recent stories you have to always go there and select recent so you see what the what your friends have recently posted right this is how you do it all right guys so um uh edit prep I don't, I don't know what this is edit preferences see who you, you prioritize first that kind of stuff so there's all different things like different options right here but I, I primarily just go here select most recent so I see my most my friends most recent posts like Anthony he was one of my employees when I, when I worked in Texas and so let me like that and I'm gonna I'm a type uh, um, awesome a oh, hold up a w e s o m e right and Anthony he's, he's he always likes my uh, my post so I always support um, him when when he posts something on his timeline but look you can go through here you can scroll through and find um, what your friends are are posting about and you can like and comment on their posts all right and also guys you know um, no I don't um, I don't I don't recruit people directly like that um, this is called attraction marketing so what happens Georgette is if um, when I post things like that, I just like and respond back to people's comments. Now, when I post something about the business or the products and someone likes it or they comment about it who are not members, those are people that I would private message to say, hey, thank you for liking my post. Let me know if you have any questions. OK, that's that's all I, do. I leave it. I leave it at, at that. I don't go 
any f further. So I'll, I don't look at every single person on Facebook as being a, as being a, a prospect or recruit. All right? I, don't, I don't recruit people. I attract people to me. This is how you attract people to you doing things like this. All right, this is this is this has been a system. Um, our team, people who have been part of Team Elite for several for several years, we've done this system for, for a long time. All right, and it works. So um, it's all about engaging your audience and attracting people to you. When you hear attraction marketing, you know you post motivational quotes. You can post some scriptures if you want to. You can post uh, information that. Uh, add value to people, okay, like uh, teaching people how to make window cleaner, I'm just saying, or how to rem remove a carpet stain, okay, stuff like that, a recipe, something funny, so different things, and spread your posts out, try to spread your posts out to maybe every two to three hours, because when you're posting hour after hour after hour, that causes your other posts to get pushed down and people won't see them, so spread your posts out, all right, so um, Vicky's just wrote, you're not too dirty for God to cleanse, you're not broken you're not too broken for God to fix. You're not too far for God to reach. You're not too guilty for God to forgive. And you are not too worthless for God. Uh, for God, you are not too worthless for God to forgive, right? Amen. So I, I agree with that. So, and so what happens when you go, it's called um, uh, reciprocity. When you go and comment on someone else's post, all right, especially if they're not, if they're not in the business, okay, people who aren't part of Heart by Naturals, you go and comment on their posts, right they'll most people will return the favor and uh and it's called reciprocity they'll come and look at your timeline and comment on your post that's how this thing works and so that's how you do a, a attraction marketing this is how you know you you don't come across being as uh so salesy promoting your heart by naturals uh products or business opportunity every single post don't do that all right you want to engage your audience um you know, my, there's a pastor I follow, Leroy Thompson. Before you can look for money miracles, you must pull off your money mask, which is false pro prosperity that consistently and not being led, buying things on credit, lease cars or houses. Amen. I want to share that. So watch. I want to share it. I'm going to say amen. Right. Amen. So and there are some people's posts that I do share. Right. And I'm in with if you share someone's posts, make sure there's no business or product links in their posts that you're sharing because you don't want to lose customer things like that. So um, um, but that's it, guys. It, these are really simple ways to increase engagement on your timeline. You no know, posting polls. You can create you can create polls. Right. Um, uh, you can like you can type like how often do you track? Do you check your your email and you can create a poll for that right on your Take some, okay, you're welcome. Oh, cool, that's awesome. Look, you can create, you can type, how, how often do you check your email, right? And then all you do, right? Let me see if I can find where a poll was at. I'm trying to, I thought there was an option to do it. I don't see it anymore. I thought they had an option to, to create polls here on Facebook. I don't know if they stopped doing that or um, if they, I don't, I don't know where that is anymore. I thought they had a place you can create polls, but I think you can do it if you have support groups. You can you can create polls in your support group, right? So, if you guys have support groups, you can do that in there. But uh, but you you can you can type it. You you can type this right now. Look, hey Eric, this is what you can do, right? You can type uh, how often do you check your email, and then you can put a, you know, two to five times per day. B, uh, as soon as I get new email. C uh once a day or b or d once a week or whatever okay then you can have a b c d and tell people to comment below a b c d all right and tell and you can also ask people to share all right so that's how you can create a uh simple simple poll right on your uh facebook uh, uh timeline to help increase uh engagement and without uh always posting about the business as much as much as we love these products all right and this business opportunity you know you want to attract people to you okay so this is what I, i've been doing this for several years and it works um people came to call me coach marcus because i frequently uh would share health fitness and weight loss tips for free all right for free guys i did that for free all right i obtained my personal trainer certification back in 2013 and that gave me the credibility to be able to share health, fitness, and weight loss tips with people because I had a, I had 
a certification, right? And what I would do, I would share those tips with people and then people would would message me and ask me for information about the products I sold that were in, that helped people lose weight, all right? And so, and the more you give away, it will come back to you. So focus on uh, giving away value. Don't focus so much on getting signups and sales. Focus on giving away value, all right? When you give, people will be attracted to you, all right? People wanna feel good when they come here on Facebook. So when I go, when I get finished with this video, I'm gonna go live on my timeline and uh, tell people uh, what they need to do so they can see uh, not only top posts, so they can see their friends, what their friends have posted recently. Because I don't, th I don't think uh, Facebook really promotes that. Um, and yeah, Stephen says I like fun facts. I like fun food facts and recipes on his on my timeline. See, everyone has a niche. All right, so find something something that that you're passionate about and focus on on being that that person. All right, so. Um, it's good. It's great. It works. This works. This attracts people to you. But uh, but just posting those or questions, uh, you can even write like you ask a question, ladies, uh, bald men or men with hair, <laughs> you know, or um, facial hair or uh, 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 no facial hair. All right. You can post stuff like like that. Just different polls, different questions to get people to respond to your post because people are seeing your hard by naturals posts all right they're just not responding to those but they're seeing them all right so but they're going to respond to those questions and to fun stuff and the recipe so just wanted to share that this quick video with you guys let me uh, wrap this up i want to go for a walk outside i didn't i'm not working out today uh um i need to go for a walk and just wanted to, to share this with you guys to help everyone um you know build their business also uh, Kimberly Wilkins is doing a, um, that's good, DJ. I'll do, I do my recipe group of funny things. And remember, when you post on your timeline, if you have groups, okay, or recipe group or, or something, you can share your post from your timeline into your group. Okay, don't, don't post in your group first and share it to your timeline. Post on your timeline and share it to your group so group members can share it outside your group, all right? And also, make sure you guys are, um, qualified for the uh, promotion or the contest Kimberly Wilkins is doing this month. Um, uh, if you have 100 PV, you get three entries to, to win $100. You have uh, 50 PV, you get two entries to win 50 bucks. You have 25 PV, you get one entry to win $25. So she's going to do that drawing on October 1st. And then next month, I told her we can pool our money together and we'll do contests each month. And so we can make the prizes bigger. Okay, so we'll we'll so I'll I'll add some money to to the pot, and we'll you know go from there because we want everyone qualified. We want everyone star bonus qualified, which is why we give uh, more entries for having 100 PV. Okay, so if you do get to 100, do 100 PV, guys, you want to be star bonus qualified. Okay, that's money you're you're leaving. If you have other people who are signing up and ordering through your website, and they're and they're ordering 100 PV in products and you don't have 100 PV, you're missing out on star bonuses, okay? I just checked my star bonus uh, payments for the year, all right, just for the year, and I joined February 4th, right? I didn't start qualifying for star bonuses until February 26th, that was when my wife joined, and um, and I got to 100 PV on February 26th. So, but, I, but between February 4th and February 26th, I had a lot of people ordering, placing 100 PV orders. And uh, and I was wondering, well, why am, I, why am I not getting this star bonus, okay, for those 100 PV orders, right? And once I read it and understood what I needed to do to qualify for it, that's when I, I took action and got to 100 PV. And it wasn't until February 26th. So February 4th, I joined. Three weeks later, I got to 100 PV, right? But... Um, so since February 26, so it's been what, um, so almost seven months, just star bonus payments, guys, just in star bonuses. All right. I've earned $11,300 just in star bonus payments. Okay. It's because Stephen has 121. So make sure you comment on that contest post, uh, that's in here. It's in our announcements. Uh, Kimberly posted it and it's an announcement. So go there if, and whatever PV you have, make sure you comment on that post. So Kimberly can get will get your name and put and get you get your name entered, but I have uh, eleven thousand three hundred dollars just in star bonuses. 
remember you get $50 on your first level. So you have two people that you signed up that placed 100 PV orders, you get 50 bucks, right? And then your second gen your second generation, that those are the people that your your two your team members personally signed up. When they do 100 PV, right? Single order, you get $75 on that second level. And then on your third generation, those are your second generation members, person enrolled members. Once you have eight people that do 100 PV orders on your third generation, you get $100. All right? But remember, your second gener your second generation members when they start earning star bonuses, you get it's crazy, right? It's it's an amazing thing. The star bonus, hey hey Diana, your, the star bonus pro program is amazing. This is why we want everyone um, to be with uh, to have one one hundred p one hundred PV. All right, so um, so do that. Get qualified for the star bonus, and um, and uh, use this. Uh, <laughs> Use this uh use these tips I gave you to help build engagement. All right guys, so you guys have a great day and uh awesome Wednesday. Tomorrow's matrix cutoff day. All right, so that's amazing. And hey guys, I understand the system sometimes the system is down and you know we're growing, we're still fairly new and with as fast as we're growing, you know, we have a server and you know, we have the server capacity is it has to keep up with our growth and the replication of the website. So just be patient. All right, when you can't get into your website, uh, we understand. If you have any concerns, you can email customer support at support at, at hbnnaturals.com. Just let them know, hey, I'm having a difficult time logging into to my website. Can I get some assistance? And they'll respond to, to you and provide you the assistance. But I know when I'm having, when I have a hard time getting in, I, I always uh, clear my cookies uh, and, and re, uh, refresh my uh, cache, right? But I clear my cookies out, and that seems to resolve the problem with me with me not being able to log in. But uh, just be patient, guys. You know, we're, this is still early for a lot of for this company. We're still in our developmental stage, growing stage, and uh, so there're going to be some birth pains. All right. So that's it, guys. Uh, yeah, Stephen, we have cool, we have uh, great people helping others in HBN. So uh, appreciate you guys. But let me roll. I got finished this video. Let me go to my personal timeline. Um, do a, a video there just to tell people how to uh, set their settings on their news feeds so they can see what their friends are posting, not just the top stories. All right. So, hey, God bless everybody uh, that they shut down for updates. Um, I don't know. That's a customer support question. I'm not customer support. So you need to if you have any questions like that, contact customer support. OK, I, I'm, I'm a consultant just like everybody else. So I know I know what you guys know. Um, no so um so that's it guys um have a great day and i will uh, catch you guys later bye